Thank you for everybody for joining us this morning. What I do know is that I think our energy together do exponentialize the energy and the energy pulls that we're creating. So thank you so much for coming on at half past seven in the morning in New Zealand. Cassie Shirley here, facilitator of miracles, access consciousness. Uh, so maybe lower your barriers, drop the barriers, close your eyes if you want to and allow your awareness to go down deep into the earth. And I do think this energy expansion is really such, a, without making it significant, this is really what is life changing. Allowing your awareness to go down deep into the earth. The energy of who you be as the infinite being that you be, truly be. Being aware that what we have done in the past is we've contracted our beings into our, the sides of our bodies and that makes our lives really hard. So expanding your being right out to the universe and at the same time pulling energy from the core of Papatuanuku right out through your feet, through your whole body and allow, you, allow the energy to be the space between the molecules of your body and right out now. Keep on expanding right out as far as you can go in all directions. So go out 200,000 Ks. 300,000 Ks, a million hundred thousand Ks, like when you get to where you think you can't go any further, keep going even more and let's see if we can expand our beings equal to or even more than Gary Douglas, who is the expand your space, PB space, con continuously and this is how he has created access he has expanded his being and he's pulled energy from everything and everyone so right now start creating communion with all the molecules and allow all the molecules to contribute to you Listen to a really great podcast with Simone Millicis and Gary Douglas talking and I placed it on my Living and Thriving page. I think it was so great. I think you'll enjoy it if you have a moment. It's probably about 10 minutes and it's fabulous and it's all about contribution and how we don't allow everything to contribute to us. So what if you could pull energy from everything and everyone and all the anything you can think of like the trees the car the forest the oceans the fish in the oceans all the seaweed from nature from the forests from the birds and the bees and the trees through your being and through your body, through your reality. And let's pull the reality of infinite possibilities into our beings and into our bodies and into our universes. And ask the question, what do I truly desire as my life? What do I truly desire of my life? And all the subtle things that you're asking for that you don't really know that you're consciously asking for. Let's pull the energy of those. 
And some of the things that I've been asking for are like infinite intelligence. To be the intelligence that we're truly being. And if we were being truly intelligent, what would be our greatest capacities that we could function from? What is greater than we've ever asked for before? Now, infinite intelligence or the intelligence that we, tr we refuse to be, let's ask for that to really show up in our lives. And I did a call with Gary, it was called the intelligence you refuse to be. And one of the things about intelligence is being the capacity of no point of view. No point of view is everything is just an interesting point of view. Everything is just an interesting point of view. Interesting point of view, I have this point of view. And using the Ten Commandments. Of choosing 10 seconds of choice. Choosing in 10 seconds. And the Ten Commandments, or the Ten Keys to Freedom. Some of you may have the book, and some of you may not know them, and I, if you like, I'll type them up into the group. And let's ask to have and be those. So keep pulling the energy of infinite intelligence through your body and through your being from it being expanded right out. So keep on demanding that you expand your being right out through the universe. And if you have any upsets from yesterday or from the day before, take those and expand them right out. Give them up, give them to the universe. Expand them right out. What do I truly desire as my life? Morning, Tanya. Nice to see you at work. <laughs> what do I truly desire as my life? Well, let's ask for more people who truly have your back. So you notice I'm asking for that a lot. Let's ask for those people to show up, all the people who want to contribute to you in your life and your living. And where are the people who are looking for what you have to offer? Whether it's floristry, whether it's energy work, whether it's bars, all the energy of masses of people all around you who are seeking and looking for what you have to offer. All that energy. And now double your pull and triple your pull and multiply that pull by a hundred thousand times. And ask that question again, what do I truly desire as my life? Are you asking for more? And when you have received that more, sometimes access talks about what's my new ask? What is your new ask? And even though it hasn't shown up yet, just know the fact that you have asked for it. It's already coming. What energies can we be today? What energies can we pull? There's masses of different energies that we don't really even, we're not even familiar with. What are those energies? What contribution could those energies be to our being and our living? 
and drop your bells again. Keep lowering your bells. Bells drop. Expand your being. And what else would you like to ask for? So has anybody got any questions? So my question that I'm going to suggest you might like to ask all day today is what do I truly desire as my life, as and in my life? Start to allow yourself to dream a lot more. That's what we did when we were children. What's that, Anne? Oh, sorry, now I'm distracted when you're talking about dreams. Um, yeah, I did have a question about expansion and um, sorry to interrupt you there, Chrissy. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be sitting in the high court in a, a law competition and um, my child will be competing. So I'm just wondering how expand my being into that, that presence of, of space and beyond um, yep. how I can send her all the good vibes and wisdom and whatever it takes. So. Okay, so just expand. So right now, expand over. Include yourself in her life. Exclude, include the energy of who you're being over, over her. Mm hmm and when you're in the courtroom, pull energy from the judges and, well, I suppose it's not really one of those big courts, is it? Well, I don't know. I've never been there. It's the high court here in Auckland. Oh, wow. Is it so, a, a case that you're for yourself? No, no, no. She's competing as a law student. And oh. if she, so she's representing Victoria University. Uh -huh. with her teammate and if they win then they'll go represent New Zealand in Washington DC oh so they've already been to Australia this year and mm -hmm. so this is this is like the final national competition okay wow okay so I, I think you can ask the question what would it take for them to have lots of fun <laughs> And that's, yeah, you got that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, and the thing is, you know, when your being is expanded being, everybody else around you is more likely to expand their being as well. Because, I mean, you, I don't know whether you can give that information to your daughter about expanding her being and pulling energy from everybody in the courtroom. Would she be willing to have it? It would make a big difference in her whole career. Good. See how you go? Yeah, sure. And just keep asking, how does it get better than this in your head when you're there? Yes. For yes. them. Yeah, for her okay. team. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Anybody else got any questions? Hello. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today.